With everything that's been going on the past couple of years, the thought of living in a self-sufficient, environmentally friendly community that's built to be locked down sounds really, really appealing. Well, that's the case for a residential area in the upcoming Chinese city of Xiong'an New Area. Today, we're going to see what this enticing community is all about, especially when it comes to the astonishing eco-living capabilities that are built within. We'll see all of its features and prices. On top of that, we'll also explore how this new city was created and the mammoth cost. So, let's get started. Before we can talk about the green community, we first have to see what the Xiong'an new area is all about. The idea was first disclosed all the way back in 2017 and will be headed by China's president, Xi Jinping. Located in the province of Hebei, the new area was put together to ease pressure on China's capital city of Beijing. Populated with 20.9 million people, the streets of Beijing are clogged with cars, while the nearby city of Tianjin has a population of around 13.8 million. Xiong'an New Area is situated 100 kilometers, around 62 miles, southwest of Beijing and 100 kilometers west of Tianjin. Also during 2017, Beijing stated they would invest 18.2 billion yuan, about $2.8 billion, to combat air pollution. By creating the Xiong'an New Area, the idea is that people will leave Beijing and Tianjin in particular to move to the new city. And it worked right off the bat. After the announcement, people flocked to the new area to purchase any properties that were already in the location with the hope to then sell them off later for a big profit. Soon, the roads were blocked off with vehicles attempting to get into the area and the local hotels filled with guests. The initial development for Xiong'an New Area was for 100 square kilometers, around 38.6 square miles, yet there are plans for it to reach a whopping 2,000 square kilometers, around 772.2 square miles. That's nearly twice the size of the city of Indianapolis in Indiana at 936.3 square kilometers. In 2020, a competition was run for architects to have their work showcased in Xiong'an New Area. The competition was defined as Xiong'an Architectural Design Contest with Chinese characteristics under the High Quality Development Principle. There were six categories and more than 300 entries altogether. For the residential and communities category, the winning plan was by Guayart Architects. Founded in 1993 by Vicente Guayart in Barcelona, Spain, the prestigious firm has headed projects all over the globe. When speaking about the inspiration for the design, the studio director, Honorata Grzesikowska, stated, The entire team worked from home, and we decided to include all those aspects that could make our lives better. The group created a mixed-use community that can be the blueprint for cities around the world. In case of another recent worldwide issue, or something else, the area would be able to produce its own energy and food. The area focuses on circular bioeconomy. What this essentially means is that it takes inspiration from a circular economy, where pollution and waste are minimized for environmental protection and reuse, as well as creating renewable energy and resources to make food, materials, and so on. Guayart Architects' design combined the European courtyard-style city blocks found in regions like Barcelona with modern Chinese housing towers. The blocks will have housing, offices, retail, schools, a swimming pool, and a firehouse. All of the buildings will be constructed with cross-laminated timber. Cars will be restricted to certain areas, whilst deliveries will be conducted by drones. Each apartment will also have, adorably, its own bird box and shelves for swallows to nest in. 5G will also be implemented in order to make working at home or working in the community's public spaces as seamless as possible. One area of the community would consist of numerous greenhouses in order to grow food, which will consist of hydroponic farming and LED lights. Some of the largest farmer-inspired greenhouses can cost upwards of $23,000. There will also be what's described as co-working digital factories. These rooms will consist of 3D printers and rapid prototyping machines. In case of a disruption in the supply chain, these machines can create tools or replacement pieces for broken devices. Large industrial 3D printers can cost upwards of $10,000. The roofs are mostly sloped to hold solar panels. Many of the sloped roofs will contain solar panels. According to the Center of Sustainable Energy, the average 5 kilowatt residential system of solar panels usually costs $15,000 to $25,000 to install. 
while Tesla's solar roof can cost $34,300 for a 2,000 square foot home. All the garden spaces, both private and public, will all host butterfly-friendly flowers to welcome nature into the new city area. Work on building Xiong'an New Area is still underway. Around 120 projects are in the midst of being created with 160,000 workers. Most steel rebar employees are bringing in 10,000 yuan, around $1,550 per month. It's expected that by 2035, Xiong'an will be a modern, green city. One of the contributors is the global architectural firm Chapman Taylor. They helped design Xiong'an New Area Urban Master Plan. One of their biggest selling points is that everything someone will require is just a 15-minute walk away. As the company states, the spatial layout ensures that educational, commercial, medical, public transportation, cultural, and sports facilities are all provided within a walkable distance. It's been estimated that the whole of the Xiong'an new area will cost 4 trillion yuan, around $621.7 billion, to build over the next two decades. This is mostly down to the fact that the area was rural at the time. As such, logistic costs for workers and materials would up the price substantially. Back in 2018, the UK government co-founded the creation of a technology center in Xiong'an. The deal between the UK and China was reported to cost $11.8 billion at the time. In order to focus on becoming a green city, the Xiong'an authorities announced services to allow the public to report environmental violations in exchange for a reward. The cash incentive ranges from 500 to 5,000 yuan, around 78 to 777 dollars. Back in 2018, Xiong'an even received investment from the state-owned oil company Sinopec. They were looking to fund new energy, green products, and artificial intelligence within the new area. The funding was for 10 billion yuan, nearly 1.6 billion dollars. One of their biggest projects was opened in December 2020, the Xiong'an Railway Station. With 13 platforms and 23 lines, the station takes up 475,000 square meters, around 5.1 million square feet. In order to stick to the green plan for the city, the station's unique roof is covered in solar panels. According to reports, this alone cost 30 million yuan, or $4.7 million. While the whole station is reported to have cost 8 billion yuan, around $1.2 billion. Soon after, the beijing Xiong'an Intercity Railway, a railway line connecting various stations in Beijing to Xiong'an, was opened to the public. Within a few hours of the line opening, websites were sold out of tickets as train enthusiasts snapped up seats. The top speed for bullet trains on this track is 350 kilometers per hour, around 218 miles per hour. The line itself is 91 kilometers long, or 57 miles. Tickets originally cost between 48 and 68 yuan, or 7.5 to 10.6 dollars. Final fact finish. Another metropolis currently being created is the King Abdullah Economic City in Saudi Arabia. Originally conceived in 2005, the megaproject was headed by the late King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. The near 70 square mile city is set to open around 2035 and was most privately funded with around $100 billion so far. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.